Hello and welcome back to EU4 Dharma. We we're trying something a little different today. I, I do know I made some mistakes in the Nepal game, which were pointed out in the comments, and I do think I would like to go back to that at some point. Um, but I'm going to try something a little different today. I was just kind of panning around the map looking for interesting starts. Um, I'm going to try to play as Junagar, um, which is one of the Gujarati states on the um, West Indian coast here. And my goal with this run is going to be to try to turn our our little um, our little Gujarati kingdom into the richest nation on earth. That I, I want us to be, you know, kind of the the Venice of India. We're going to expand up and down the coast here. Um, definitely going to try to take this level three center of trade from uh, Gujarat, which will turn it into a level one center of trade because when centers of trade change hands, they um, they get downgraded one level, but we'll build it back up again. After all the looting and devastation is off, uh, is done, we're going to make a lot of use of the Vaishya estate. So, um, in order to actually hand out territory to them, this is going to be actually a really good way to kind of guide our development. Our provinces have to have a development of at least seven and a province trade power of at least five. So our goal is going to be to get as many, like, developed provinces up to that point as we can so that we can get that Vaishya modifier there. It's basically going to be become an Indian kingdom that is de facto run by the merchant class. Um, and uh, we'll eventually use the, the government system to switch to some kind of, like, a, a plutocratic republic or something like that. Um... So that's going to be kind of the, the idea here, is just get, you know, rich AF and um, maybe flirt with the Europeans a little bit. If we feel like we can kind of play them to increase our wealth, we're open to doing that, which will add a little element of danger of riding that line of, you know, how much, how much are we willing to uh, work with them uh, to benefit ourselves, you know, without letting them just run rampant all over the subcontinent. So I did a little bit of setup ahead of time. I've got my armies building up to force limit. We are rivals with uh, Gujarat, um, Sindh, which is um, up here. And, uh, oh, I'm looking at Mewar. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. We are rivals with uh, Kutch... Um, Jalavad and Hor Bandar, which is uh, this guy right here, these guys up here, and these guys right here. So we're going to try to kind of dominate this little peninsula, this little bay right here, and then Gujarat is ultimately who we want to go after because we really want that, uh, that uh, combat trade center. Um, we're definitely going to try to monopolize the Gujarat trade node and then try to start feeding into that from Deccan, from Coromandel, which is a really rich trade node, and maybe even up north into uh, Lahore. So I've got an alliance currently with these dudes, uh, Palatana, and I'm working on getting an alliance with Miwar, who have some of the most ridiculous military ideas I've ever seen. So they're obviously going to be very helpful. I'm also going to go ahead and set... Um, our ambitions so everybody is aware of that and yeah that looks good for now so let's unpause here okay we got alliance we got a queen royal marriage with Miwar, which should put them over the edge of wanting to accept an alliance meanwhile we're going to use our other diplomat to fabricate a claim here so let's see yeah, they don't have any allies yet. Neither do these guys. I think we'll go after the smaller target first. That's usually wise. We are probably going to go into a little bit of debt. And now that this diplomat is free, we will... Why are they not wanting an alliance now? I guess we fell slightly below the threshold. Royal Marriage with Palatana, that sounds great. Hopefully we can Diplo-Vassalize them at some point. Okay, 
26th of January. There we go. We got an alliance with Mawar. They're putting down the Marwari rebels. So they will be in good shape to help us out. Army's ready to go. I don't think we have an estate interaction that gives us a general. I already looked through here. Like, the Marathas don't have a way to recruit a general, so we're just going to have to go luck of the draw here. But, uh, let's see. Eh, kind of crappy. I don't really want to make our king... Well, let's see. Our queen regent... Our queen regent actually has fairly decent stats, and our heir has decent stats, so actually I don't really mind making our ruler a military commander. Those two shock pips will make a fairly significant difference. Uh, then we want to uh, drill these guys a little bit while we get ready for war. And our free dude is going to go improve relations up here. Got a fairly optimal start here, except for the fact that we're bleeding money. They are now allied with Jalavad, which is these guys up here. We might vassalize them, actually. That would actually probably work really well. Because unless, unless we go to war with uh, Kutch at the same time, we're not probably going to be able to core that. So I think we'll force vassalize them. That's, that's what I think we're going to do. Okay. Got claims going on. Fabricate a claim on Porbandar. Alright. So let's pull this diplomat back. I'm going to keep these guys here because they'll help us siege faster. Uh, Jalavad would join in. We might be able to beat them uni unilaterally. We could also just piss off Palatana by telling them we're going to give them land and then not give it to them. Um, that's probably what we'll do, actually. Because I actually don't really mind if we piss them off, because we're going to conquer them eventually anyway. It's just a matter of whether we conquer them or diplo-vassalize them. Wow, these elephants. Those are some shiny elephants right there. I like our elephants better, though. Our elephants have, have a more interesting color palette. Um, yeah, let's... Alright, we'll call Politana in. We're gonna... Actually, we're gonna wait until our morale gets back up. We got a little bit of drill, at least. We're up to, what, 6.45% 6, 6 drill. That is not a high enough percentage of drill. You gotta get your daily dose of drill. With a heavy heart, I announce that the Gujarati are at it again. Okay, so we're going to promise them land. We're not going to do it. We're going to allow them to attach to our army. We're going to go down to speed three. Make sure I'm using the right CB, which was part of my problem in the last campaign, Conquest. And let's do it. All right, and I will put my free diplomat back on Marwar for now. I have a feeling we're going to have a very long and profitable relationship with Marwar. <laughs> All right. We also have a level uh, level two fort here, which is a really nice thing about uh, Jungar or Junagar. One of the reasons I chose them over some of the other nations in this area. Um, they have a similar level of development to some countries that have more provinces than them, and they start with a level 3 fort, which is actually super nice. So, our spies should be doing their work, helping our siege along here. Yeah, spy network in Port Bandar is giving us at least a little bit of a boost here. And it doesn't look like... Oh! Who's, who's beaten up on Gujarat? Bachmanis is beaten up on Gujarat. That's good. The, the weaker Gujarat is, the better for us. So there's some ships sailing right across the land there. There's some very, very advanced land ships. 
happening in this part of the world right now. Took out our first loan, that's okay. Do they have a fleet? Yeah, we probably don't want to risk our risk our trade ships on that. I have them set on go home at war as I usually do, so I think that's actually going to be a smart idea this time around. Production research is flawed. Uh, we're going to ignore them. Our prestige will bounce back up pretty quick when we win this war. We'll go up to speed four. I don't think we're going to face any significant counterattacks that we'll have to react to with lightning speed. Even if they did try to siege us now, it would we, our siege would be done way before theirs was. Um, taking out some more loans. We're going to have to negotiate some uh, military access here, probably. Okay, so we won the siege. We are in control of the land. Let's... Um, oh, we can just march there. That's great. All right, so diplomacy. Go ahead and build a spy network here. We'll continue improving relations with Mewar. We're going to kick their asses. And get some battle prestige. Royal marriage with Palatana has ended. Well, they're about to hate us anyway, so that might be a good thing. Oh man, I hope Gujarat doesn't get totally wrecked by Bachmanis, because if Bachmanis annexes that center of trade, it's going to be much harder to take it. <laughs> We're going to have to expand a lot before we can actually fight Bachmanis. So. That is uh, that is definitely a consideration we have to think about. Let's see, if both of our fleets came out of port, we could beat their fleet, but... I think it's going to be easier just to do this by land warfare. Okay. Siege is over. So we're going to pull our diplomat here. There we go. This is this is how this is how you start a campaign. Uh, they are going to become our vassal. They're going to give us a whole bunch of money. They're going to give up their claim. Eh, no, I'll let them keep their claims in Kutch. That might be uh, beneficial to us later. Cool. Um, then we'll just go ahead and annex these fools. And make them give us all their money. And that's about it. Sweet. Send our army down here to reduce unrest. Palatana wants aid in their conquest of Rajkot against Kutch. Um, that is... We're going to backstab them, actually, is what we're going to do here. We're going to decline. Decline that invitation. Um, so they are now at war, and I don't... Yeah, I don't believe we have an alliance anymore. Nor do we have a royal marriage. Uh, we do have a truce against them now, though. So... Let's go ahead and get a royal marriage with these guys. They're our vassals now. Oh, they rejected it. Those jerks. Alright, we're going to fabricate a claim on... Gol Golvad. And we are going to stop this relation improvement so we can improve relations with our new vassal instead. Okay. Yeah, high liberty desire. I'm, I'm aware of that. Quite aware of that. Uh, we're going to make this a core. Park over here. Oh, I forgot to pay back my loans. Which means I'm just going to get another loan immediately. That's okay, though. So how long do we have a truce? September 1452. Okay. They have no other allies currently. These guys have no allies either. 
And we have claims on them. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, what does is, what is, uh, Marwar want? Or Miwar want? They want this province here. That's not a center of trade or anything, is it? No. They can have it. They can have it. We'll take these two provinces. We'll give Kutch to our allies. Yeah, that's actually great. Let's just go ahead and wait for our thing to tick up. <laughs> it was probably not worth starting that drill when I did. Yeah, take it out loans, I know. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do this. That's super cool. Uh, take Rush Khan. Which one has a fort in it? Do either of them have a fort? Neither of them have a fort. And we have a claim on both, so it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, Miwar doesn't want in now. Okay. Well, Jalavad will help us. Um, which means we can now redo that. Uh, okay. We won't, we, I don't think we'll need our help from our allies. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Come on, buddy. Alright, do we have these guys set to attach? And secondarily, is there a river crossing here? There's not. Okay, come on, you guys. Subjects, liberty desire, they have disloyal attitude. Uh, we're gonna... Can we... Blackgate the local rulers? No, we can't. Okay. We'll crush him on the next run. Gift to the state. Um, we are going to put that into the treasury. We pay off a loan here. Worth war freezing war taxes right now? Probably not. I'm losing a lot of money a month. Okay. This time we win. There we go. And that's going to be a stack wipe. And we are just going to annex them, pretty much. That's what's going to happen. Why are we not continuing to improve relations with these guys? Also, why do we still have Spy Network going in Palatana? I guess we'll go ahead and we'll fabricate the claim, then we're going to pull these spies out. And then we will start up a Spy Network here just to help our siege go faster. Manpower, we still have a bit of a reserve. Ain't gonna be no peace offer from Kutch. Just gonna be a full annexation. <laughs> Stupid vassals not helping us. Alright. Nope. Not until the siege is over. Sorry, my guys. I like our map color. It seems very similar to Norway. We're going to be like the Indian Norway. Oh, man. Miwar's getting curb stomped by Nagaur, Multan, and Mi Miwat. That's not going to be good for us. 
Gujarat announced this as a rival. We will rival you right back at our earliest convenience. Lakshmi Vrayat, Pride of Vishnu. Um, maintaining marriage bonds with other countries has helped Junagar diplomatically and in a recent meeting with the ruler of such an ally, you also discussed the spiritual significance of the bonds of marriage. The ruler and many ambassadors were followers of Vishnu and knew Shakti as Vishnu's consort Lakshmi. You took this opportunity to speak about them, uh, or speak to them about the importance of the goddess as a medium to the divine. Your words seem to sink in, and their leaders now have a better understanding of our faith as well as the value of our royal marriage. That is great. Oh, there we go. Miwar's, Miwar's, uh, Miwar's handling shit. They're handling their shit here. Yeah, they, uh, their, their military ideas are absolutely ridiculous. Okay. So, fully occupied, we are going to pull our spies out, we're going to sue for peace, full annexation, take all your shit. Um, looks good. Alright, I'm going to pull these guys off here right now just so I can see which province has nominally the highest revolt, or the highest unrest. Looks like it is going to be... We'll station these guys in Halar. That's going to be the upshot here. The Renaissance. All right. Let's core everything. Too few rivals because we've crushed all of our rivals. So Palatana is going to be a rival now. Gujarat is going to be a rival now. And the Sindh already hate us. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know if we want to start scrapping with Sindh yet. Um. Oh, by the way. Pay as many loans as we can. What else was I needing to look at? Oh, yeah. Well, let's see what their alliances look like. Jean-Cor, which is big. Asa and Yas. Yeah, let's, uh... Sindh is part of the Gujarat trade node. Oh, sweet. Gujarat has peasant rebels. That's amazing. And they still... Uh, Bakmanis did not take that main trade port from them, which is also very good. Uh, what was I... Oh, yeah. So let's, well, let's, just, let's just do it. Let's just go ahead and rival Sindh. Okay, so we next want to go to war with Politana. 1452, they have no allies right now. Um, we will drill our army until we get the warning of imminent rebellion, and then we will stop drilling them so that they will be at full morale when we do have to fight a rebellion. We are also going to beef up our army a little bit when we have some money. And we may have to take out a loan to do that. Let's see, how much would that cost? Cavalry would cost 25. Foot soldiers would cost 10. So yeah, let's take out a couple loans, actually. good and we can diplo annex these guys oh we don't have a royal marriage yet there we go we can diplo annex they should be loyal now yep on the 2nd of june or no wait yeah 29th of june 1457 so we are expanding nicely All right, 
So we're just waiting for that truce timer. 1452, September. So we will stop drilling either when rebellion becomes a major issue or when, uh, let's see, free trade, mercantilism. Yeah, let's go, go with mercantilism. Or um, when we get to like, I don't know, July, August, September. Either either June of 1452 or when it looks like there's going to be a rebellion, we'll stop drilling. We can go ahead and get our Diplotech up here. Advancement of the Vaishya cast. Awesome. Uh, relatively low cast according to Vedic scriptures, but this theoretical rank does not always reflect their true influence. Throughout Junagar, the Vaishyas have seen their fortunes increase and their status improve in practice, if not in theory. Okay. Queen Regency, that's okay. We're going to stick with Shakti until we are done. Um, conquering. Also, even though it's going to delay our tech, I do want to keep this at plus one so we can have um, prosperity. Okay, support support the Adv Advaita movement. The spiritual Advaita movement, uh, its efforts to promote non-dualistic ideas of Adi Shankara as opposed to Madhvak Va Madhvacharya's philosoph philosophical school of dualism, um, which would give us national unrest and missionary strength. That could be useful. Uh, our other option, which would require a Diplo skill of three, give us stability cost modifier and missionary strength. I think I'm going to go with the National Unrest. That does sound better, actually. Then adopting religious sects, um, establishing a tolerant society where the citizens are allowed to practice the religion of their choice, and sects and the like are allowed to follow any practice they see fit. Is missionary strength even going to be an issue for us? I mean, if we conquer into Sindh, it will. Um, until the end of the game, missionary strength versus heretics. So heretics for us are what? Like Jains or... There are no... There are no faiths currently that we're... It might, maybe, maybe when um, Sikhism pops up, that counts as heretical. For now, this does nothing but help us. Well, it doesn't help or hurt us. We're going to leave it alone. Because there, there's, there are no faiths that are considered heretical to Hinduism at this point. So. Did these guys stop drilling? Oh, yeah, because the king died. So we're stuck with this garbage general now. Okay, progress towards rebellion. We're gonna keep an eye on. Royal marriage offer from Miwar. We will accept that. So now our queen should. Well, I guess we married into their house. It wasn't necessarily our queen that married them. Someone in our royal family married someone in their royal family. <laughs> 